Hey, hello and welcome to Ambition Success. My name is SK Imran and you are watching chapter Ways to Online, where in this series we are showing about Microsoft 365 and this is part two of that same series and in today's video I will show you how you can verify and add your domain with Microsoft 365 so that you can create custom email ID based on your domain name. Before I start, I am assuming that you have already one domain and you have ID and password of that website from where you have purchased your domain. Also, I am assuming that you don't have any website created using that same domain name. But if you have any website, don't worry, you can continue watching this video and when that part will come where you have to do a little bit of settings so that your website continuously be up and running in this video only. First, I will show you how you can verify and add domain purchased from Google domains because that's little bit difficult and tricky. Also, I will show you how you can add or verify your domain purchased from other domain provider. In this case, GoDaddy. If you follow this video, I believe you can do it yourself. But if you need any technical assistance from us, then we request you go to our website www.ambitionsuccess.co.in, go to contact us and fill the form available in contact us page where in the service or what do you want from us drop down select assistance to buy domain and set up domain. This will create one email chain through which only we will provide any technical support if you want from us. So let's get started. So now I will click on manage your subscription. Don't worry if you have missed this screen. I will also show you how you can log in like you log in in Outlook and then complete this setup. So just continue watching this video and all your queries related to adding domain will be resolved. Now once I am inside the admin panel after clicking here now what you have to do you have to set up your domain so what i will do i will click show all and click on settings and then domain click add domain and then i will provide my domain name over here which is net and i will click on use this domain at the bottom as you can see over here now follow this instruction so as you can see it is asking you to update txt record or mx record or add one file to your website i have logged in to that website from where i had purchased my domain and i had purchased from google domains I can also purchase from GoDaddy or any domain service provider. So I have to log in to that website and I have to enter the DNS. You will find all the options like I am showing over here. Enter the DNS of your domain. And if you see, you have option to add various record. And in record type, you have the option CTXT mx and the same thing is mentioned over here c txt and mx i will show you side by side here create create new record and there you will find txt and mx so i will click on txt and then i will look for that i will do nothing i will click here to continue so see it has already already searched this that I have purchased from here. So I have to put this 
in my settings so what i will do here i will write at the rate and here i will copy this so i will copy this and then i will click save so it is not supporting so i can delete and then save so it is saved so what i will do i will click on verify so from this screen we have these three options so if you want to skip this and use microsoft 365 for 30 days then you can do that using this email id which has no link with the domain if you have your dns and if you know how to change or update those settings then continue i am selecting this i'm clicking on continue now in this screen we will add three more records which are shown at the left side of the screen which are mx txt and cname record now i will not explain in details because this is just copy and paste you keep or arrange both the screens side by side as i have shown in this screen and then simply copy data from left which is microsoft 365 control panel and paste at the right which is the dns setting of your domain provider in this case this is google's domain so i am fast forwarding this stage and yes replace record so it is done i'll now click on next if you have website then at this page you can add record so that your existing website do not interrupt but as we are assuming that you don't have any existing website that's why i'm clicking on continue but if you have website and you don't know what to do at this point then you can ask for the support which is present at the bottom right corner now we will add name server which is very important here i will show you example using google domains that means i have purchased this domain from google's domain First, I will show you the interface of Google Domains that can vary if you purchase it from other website provider. For example, GoDaddy. When you enter the settings of Google Domains, then you will see interface like this. At the top, you will find two tab: default name server, custom name server. We will do in custom name server. So alternatively, I will go here and we'll try to copy this and paste here. And save. So it is saved. I have set up this. What I will do now, I will click here. So your domain is using custom name server. Congratulations. You have successfully set up name server for Microsoft 365. Now if you click continue or next, you may get some error message as you can see here. 
so these are the old name server records which were earlier present in my dns of this domain that's why it is showing over here because the changes which you have just made may take up to 48 hours to show the effect that's why these are the error messages which are shown over here now you ignore these for time being just focus on this so this is nothing but if you see in default name server this option is present dnssec so just turn off this now once it is turned off i will ignore all these things and then once again click on continue now still these are present over here what we will do at this point we will do nothing so my suggestion is leave it as it is you can log out also if you want and then log in using your id and password i'm showing how in a second and then go to domains and resume the settings the way i'm showing just in a second and then come to this page and then let microsoft 365 check your name server settings you remember at the beginning of this video i mentioned if you have missed this screen don't worry i will show you how you can log in and continue the setup of your domain so the next part of this video will show you the same so you can continue from this portion and follow whatever i have shown at the starting of this video and then follow along now i will show you how you can access domain setting the way we log into outlook email so open any web browser and then open outlook.com once it is opened click on sign in then enter your email id which you have already noted down click next enter your password then sign in click here click here if you have not set up any security as i have not set up then you will enter your outlook then this nine dot then this admin then again click here then you will enter the admin panel then click there and then as i am showing click on settings and then domains now once you inside your domain click here and resume now here click next or continue because you have already done this this also you have done earlier so no need to do anything continue this is also not required as we are assuming that you don't have any website this is required if you have website so we will continue congratulations you have successfully set up your domain now what you can do you can go to the menu and expand it and click on power automate and create some robot and automate your business check description for more information regarding microsoft power automate so you have learned how to set up domain purchased from google domain what about if you purchased from godaddy well as i promised you at the beginning of this video i will also tell you how you can set up the same so for that you go to video portion 3 minutes and 16 second there at the top right corner you will find one demo video which clearly shows how in just three simple click or step you can verify and add domain purchased from 
GoDaddy. You just need the ID and password of GoDaddy website which you had used to purchase the domain. So just check that portion and watch that video and you will be able to do the same as shown for Google domains. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you have liked this. If so, then please hit the like button. If you have any question or complaint, don't hesitate. Feel free to write in the comment section. And if you found our videos useful, then please do consider subscribing our channel. Thank you for watching this video, giving your time. See you in next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. But before that, as always, if there is will, there is ways to online. Thank you.